Jericho. So um, as, as Brad was saying, over, over millions and millions of years of change. Um, scientists believe that we can be one of the uh, we are the um, oldest land form in the world. So many changes have happened in Australia, and especially up through this way now. The sandstone you'll find through here, um, you find Marini, Carmichael, Orson Shales, uh, mudstone deposit, and also limestone. Um, it has been laid a lot of it, but um, over many years of change, millions of years of change. Now, if you can imagine the area we're in right now um, was the sea floor millions of years ago, um, reaching up to the escarpment, and as the seas receded, um, that sand that was the sea bottom um, eventually hardened, okay? They become fossilised. And then over time with those tectonic discs moving, um, our continents collided, um, causing an uplifting or folding effect, um, pushing of areas not only here but all around the world, I mean all around Australia, up out of the ground, twisting and turning and buckling. Now, a lot of the areas also has been because of the, the height of these mountain ranges um, once upon a time, uh, because of the height, um, they're actually um, glaciers sitting on the top. So very similar, if you've been to Central Australia, okay, it's a very similar um, formation of land, okay, uh, but, the, but over different times. So th those um, glaciers on these areas as well as if they moved down, flow to the bottom, um, settled in depressions in the Earth's, the Earth's crust, and then hardened over time, layer upon layer. And then they've been pushed up, twisted, and turned, and buckled, and pushed out of the ground. And that's how your formations of majority of areas around Australia, if you know your geology. So. Um, millions and millions of years of change. And the reason we know areas um, have been um, settled by sea is um, by the life that they find. They find you find fossils of shells, um, you know, trilobites and brachiopods, also ancient underwater sea life, um, proving that uh, once upon a time this is an area um, in the sea bottom. Now, the sandstone through this area plays a very, very important part um, to the art here. Now the reason it's been painted by ochre, and uh, ochre is a clay um, through a chemical reaction through the oxygen, comes up through the ground. Um, you'll find the majority of ochre mainly up through the central areas of Australia, because we have ochre pits. Now, um, the many colours of ochre isn't so common up here. Um, you'll get your black colours, your red, um, yellow, um, the white up through here as well. Um, but not as common through the through the centre. A lot of ochre w was used for trading as well. So um, the coastal Aboriginals would trade with the, with the inland Aboriginals to get a lot of their paint. So it's like a clay mixed with water. It's formed as a paint. Now not only would they paint with ochre, um, quite often if ochre wasn't available, they used blood. Okay, and you'll find that still in some of the rocks here. Now going back to the importance of it, you've got your paint. Um, you mix it with water and then you paint onto the rock face. Now because of being sandstone here, it eventually absorbs into the rock, um, layer upon layer, because every time they would come to these places um, during the monsoon season, they would paint over, okay? Over and over. You'll find it's been layer upon layer upon layer, because they've been coming here for thousands and thousands of years, guys. There's evidence archaeologists and geologists have a field day here. They love this place. There's so much history here for them, okay? Now, by carbon dating um, on the rock, um, we can figure out how long the oak has been, been there, because as I said, it's absorbed into the rock, and so they can find how old the art is. And as Brad was saying, he'll be visiting art here today, which is you know, thousands of years old, and it's purely due by the, the carbon dating that we've done. So a lot of history here, um, a lot of changes in the landscape, and, um, and, and lots and lots of culture.